And if you're chasing that kind of wealth, know and you can see how fragile it is. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is a Friday reminder. And the verse of the surah, at takathur reminds us about the power that wealth can have over you. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Al Hakumut Takathur Hatta Zurtumul Maqabir And if you're piling up wealth, know that you will enter the grave. Dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, thank you for joining me on this video. It's a really really crucial point I want to discuss today, and that is the issue of wealth money mal and how much we are connected to it and how much this will distract us from the hereafter in the verses we've quoted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions two words wealth and piling up and then in reflection has three words to describe what is going to happen to us all and the only wealth that you can take with you is the food that enters your body the clothes that you wear and wear out and the housing that shelters you everything else is not yours so you can either pile it up to pass it on or you can give it in sadaqah and in this day and every day that comes through please consider this the word sadaqah comes from the root word sidq which means truthfulness which means honesty and that is the only truth that will happen to you if you give sadaqah it will appear to you in the hereafter do not waste time do not waste time piling on wealth having two houses having two cars you know to some extremes do you need two plates for one person but all of these extra wealth you leave it behind you do not carry it with you in this life or in the next life there are burdens for you and it is no surprise when we look at the sunnah that the Prophet wasallam asked to be raised with the masakeen. So let's just look at one example which has come to our light, come to light this week and this week alone. A famous footballer, Cristiano Ronaldo, made a simple action, a simple action. He took two bottles of Coca-Cola and I'll point, I'll point it up here. And he moved them from his table because he didn't agree with Coca-Cola. He said it was unhealthy. And we know Paul Pogba did the same with the alcoholic beverage that was in front of him. But this simple action for those people who have invested in Coca-Cola as a stock. Just by Ronaldo doing that action reduced the stock value by 4 billion. And if you're chasing that kind of wealth, know and you can see how fragile it is. Please for the sake of Allah and the sake of your Akhirah, do not put your trust in that level of fragility. The only thing that is true is the passive income that gives you the greatest return. And the greatest passive income is to contribute in Sadaqah. I'm not linking any charity down here, and I'm not linking any kind of not making kind of any kind of association with any charity here. What I'm saying to you if you're watching this video is give charity, give to the best of your ability. Because everything you give is not being held back in this life. And everything that you give, you will get a return in the hereafter. But when you give, and this is my only request to you, is think that I watched this video and this was a good piece of advice and maybe we can share the ajr, the reward together, and maybe we can meet together in paradise. Inshallah, God bless you all. Allah bless you all. Please be on the deen. But more, more importantly, at this end of time scenario, where Dajjal will come and only can only promise you dunya, abandon the dunya now. Be free from it. Carry your wealth in your hands. Do not carry your wealth in your head, in your mind, and do not carry your wealth in your heart. I'd like to hear what you think. I'd like to know what you feel about this topic. If you've got any issues, if I've triggered somebody, good. Because we do not need, in our deen, we are taught this very simple verse, al takathur hatta zurtumul maqabir. Really, really, this is 
the only thing, if you live this verse, yeah, you could probably get safely through to paradise. Do not be connected to this dunya. Do not be connected to the wealth. Do not be connected to gold, silver, and even worse than that, the wealth that we have today in planet Earth is a riba based on riba upon riba, and intellectual financial people apparently are creating wealth out of nothing. And this is what you're chasing. So I ask you and I ask me to fear Allah and fear Him only. And to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I wish you all a blessed Eid this Friday. The weekly Eid. Make the best out of it. And inshallah we can meet again in future reflections. Wa akhirud dawan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.